The fact that the Earth has only one moon is rather unusual. Jupiter, on the other hand, has a proud 79 known moons orbiting around it. Each of them is unique. And each of them is of great importance when it comes to the exploration of our solar system. In contrast to the Earth's satellite, which does not show much activity, there is a lot happening on other moons. Io, one of the many moons of Jupiter, is the best example for this. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. The First Sighting Io was discovered as early as 1610 when Galileo Galilei observed Jupiter with a simple telescope. In this course, he also discovered three other satellites of Jupiter, Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa, which is why these four moons are also called the Galilean moons. The German mathematician and astronomer Simon Marius pointed his telescope at Jupiter just one day later and also discovered the same moons. The astronomer was also the first to give the moon its present name. His proposal, however, remained unheard of at first. At first, Io was simply called Jupiter Moon 1. Only hundreds of years later was the moon given the name Io. But where does the name come from? Just as many celestial bodies were named after figures from Roman or Greek mythology, this is where Io also got its name. Jupiter, a god from Roman mythology, is the image of Zeus. Io, a simple priestess, was once the lover of Zeus. Out of this forbidden love, her son Epiphus was born later. The other Galilean moons were also named after the lovers of the father of the gods. Amazing facts about Io. Io is the innermost of the Galilean moons and ranks third in the size table. With a diameter of over 3,600 kilometers, it's slightly larger than the moon of the Earth. Its gravitation is similar to that of the Earth's satellite. That's to say, Io has about one-sixth the gravitational force. Io is a little heavier than our moon. The moon of Jupiter weighs 89 trillion tons. The Earth's moon, on the other hand, weighs only 70 trillion tons. To orbit Jupiter once, the moon needs about 42 hours. For its own rotation, the moon needs just as long. This is why we speak of a bound rotation. With a surface area of rounded up to 42,000 square kilometers, Io has an area that is only slightly larger than that of Switzerland. Io is about 421,000 kilometers away from the surface of Jupiter. If we were to travel from the Earth to Jupiter's moon, we would have a long distance ahead of us with over 628 million kilometers. Long before we could take a closer look at Io, it achieved a certain notoriety. In a way, the moon helped in the first measurement of the speed of light. In the 17th century, when it was still being discussed whether the propagation speed of light is infinite or finite, the Danish astronomer Ole Romer made a daring prediction. He calculated that Io would eclipse 10 minutes later. When this prediction actually came true, it was proved that the speed of light is finite. The Missions to the Moon of Jupiter Already in the 70s, the space probes Pioneer 10 and 11 reached Jupiter and its moons. The first closer images were taken in 1979 by the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes. The probe New Horizons whose actual destination was Pluto, also took photos of Io in 2007. In 2011, Juno began its journey and entered the orbit of Jupiter in 2016. But the probe's main mission target was the planet itself. Photos of Jupiter's moon were only taken during the flyby. The Galileo Space Probe the Galileo mission was a decisive factor in the exploration of the moon. Named after the discoverer of the moons, the probe was launched towards Jupiter in 1989. Six years later, the orbiter reached the planet 
and its moons. While previous missions had left the moons of Jupiter partly on the left, Galileo was constantly in orbit around the gas planet and brought amazing things to light. Originally, the end of the mission was already planned for 1997, but Galileo was far from having reached the end of its lifetime. Over the next few years, the focus was therefore on the Galilean moons, and the space probe also came a little closer to Io at times. It was not until September 2003 that the probe's flight into the atmosphere of Jupiter was initiated. There, it burned up completely. The reasons for the termination of the mission were technical errors and lack of fuel. The surface of Io. On July 3, 1999, Galileo succeeded in taking a remarkable snapshot showing Io in all her beauty. On the high resolution image, we see the pastel colored moon and can easily recognize and understand the surface structure. Io is full of volcanoes and high mountains. Although most of the surface is flat, we regularly find mountains that rise up to 9 kilometers in height. While the surfaces of most celestial bodies are incredibly old, the landscape of Jupiter's moon is relatively young at several million years. So the geological activities are anything but past. The surface structures on Io change like on no other celestial body. We find an indication of this in the different pictures from over the years. In the 20 years between the Voyager missions and the Galileo mission alone, trained eyes can see a clear difference. The decisive reason for the rapid changes are the gravitational forces of Jupiter and its surrounding moons. These forces literally need the interior of Io. The Volcanism on the Moon of Jupiter Many moons, like the Earth satellite, protect their planets from asteroids and comets. You can often recognize this by the structures of the respective moons. If a moon has many craters, it can be assumed that many impacts have taken place in the past. But with Io, the exact opposite is the case. The special feature of this moon of Jupiter is the constant volcanism. Over 300 volcanoes are currently active on Io. This makes the moon the celestial body with the strongest volcanic processes. But not only the number of volcanoes on Io is enormous, the volcanoes themselves also have gigantic dimensions. Some volcanoes have a diameter of several hundred kilometers. Pictures of the volcanic eruptions Through the photos of Voyager 2, volcanic eruptions could be detected for the first time on a celestial body other than Earth. New Horizons was able to create a sequence of at least five images showing a running volcanic eruption. The volcano Tavashtar emits sulfur and sulfur dioxide into space. The eruptions reach temperatures of up to 1300 degrees Celsius. Other images also show the enormous eruptions, some of which penetrate 300 kilometers into space. A phenomenon that owes its appearance to the low gravity. Mighty deposits on the surface of the moon are the result of the heavy volcanic eruptions. In addition, lava flows extend for kilometers and their components are not yet completely clear. At first, one suspected molten sulfur. But since sulfur can't become 1700 degrees Celsius hot, one looks now to silicates, which are rich in sodium. While on Jupiter's moon Europa, there is an abundance of water and a large frozen ocean is suspected, Io does not have a single drop of water. If there has ever been water there, it evaporated long ago. These water vapors were then probably taken up by the attraction of Jupiter. Researchers suspect an almost endless magma ocean below Io's surface, which constantly ensures that enormous eruptions can occur on Io's surface. Loki, the god of fire. The largest volcano on Io, with a diameter of 226 kilometers, is Loki Patera. Named after the Nordic god of fire, this volcano erupts at regular intervals. The rhythm of the eruptions has so far been between 475 and 540 days. The eruptions themselves 
lasted about 230 days. With its regular eruptions, Loki is responsible for a considerable part of the heat generation on Io. These eruptions are so epical that they can be observed from the Earth with a telescope. The Atmosphere on the Moon of Jupiter Like everything on Io, the atmosphere is also significantly influenced by volcanic activity. The 120-kilometer-high atmosphere of Io consists mainly of sulfur dioxide. In small percentages, however, other gases are also assumed to be present in Io's atmosphere. Io is one of the most interesting moons in our galaxy. Astronomers and researchers worldwide are not the only ones inspired by its uniqueness. The images, only made possible by modern technology and the insatiable thirst for knowledge of mankind, have not only amazed us, we were also able to gain many new insights from them. If you look through a telescope from Earth, Io may be just a tiny dot at the right moment. But seen at close range, the moon of Jupiter is a true phenomenon. Its geological activities are simply breathtaking. This year, ESA and NASA planned a new mission to explore Jupiter and its moons. Unfortunately, NASA withdrew from the mission for the time being. ESA then focused on the other three Galilean moons. Whether Io should be visited again in the near future remains unclear. What did you already know about Io? And what was new territory for you? Which fact impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments.